All right, so we're checking out the only case where you get to drive up a literal staircase of freaking landmines. It's turbo dismount. <laughs> Nicholas Rage is back, although you can't see him because his head is completely turned around the opposite direction with his plan to do more impossible challenges. I actually wasn't sure what happened to him, but now I understand. He literally evaporated to the moon. You understand, he never landed. The body just continued upward forever. Okay, so the challenge here is you're supposed to bounce up the mines so high that you eventually get over the wall. <laughs> the only problem is that the mines don't go to the freaking wall. Why? Because everything about this game is pain. Let's do this. Now what I did is you're given every single booster you can possibly hand. All right, that did not work out as I had anticipated. You're given every single booster you can possibly handle. Aerodynamics. Go. Uh, 200, 260. All right, clearly I need something. <laughs> Maybe my torso will make it. Clearly I need something with a little bit more of a clearance from the ground. We're gonna do this. Here we go. Speed kind of sucks, but at least you can get that big, that big vertical distance. I wonder if I could drive up the side of the wall. Wastelander, get there. I think that's our highest one yet. We're all, it has to be possible. You can't actually change the ramp because this one's not, it's part of the board. I mean, I could put a different ramp in front of it. Maximum yeet. Yeah, this is not gonna work. Look, you know what I always say. I'm trying all available options, all right? Besides going 70 kilometers per hour in an office chair is pretty amazing. Sharika, go! Holy piss. I mean, if I could have just shot myself a little bit farther forward, I think we probably would have made it. Let me just give this the best, the best try here with, with this particular pose. All right. <gasps> I'm free. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. I escaped the box. I like that the only thing that's left is my, my chest and my ass. There's no floor either, by the way. You fall forever. <laughs> this one's fairly straightforward. You have to attempt to get the highest height you can at the top part of the final sign. Apparently, it's a gigantic pain in the ass. Nicholas Rage and his memories of power don't give a damn. Let's do this. Before you do anything, you always need a baseline to understand just how much of my life I'm going to lose trying to do all these challenges. Ah, oh, Christ. Uh, well, we got to the top of the third one and sticks the landing. You okay, buddy? If anything can go higher, I would imagine it would be this. I'm really hoping that this challenge isn't the most impossible one because I'm starting with it. Here we- All right, new car. Okay. How about the DeLorean? I'd like to get at least above three of them because we still have three more to go. Two. What do you know? The DeLorean is one of the most aerodynamic. Interesting. Penis. I think the thing that amazes me is that he's still in one piece. I've decided to see if maybe I can launch my character off of the front of a vehicle because if I can get the character up there, I think that counts. Here we go. That wasn't so much of a launch. As a matter of fact, I have a feeling that the way I'm going to fall, the vehicle is actually going to land on top of me. You know, I consider that a win. This thing's top speed is absolute urine. I just found out I'm allowed one single turbo pad. What's amazing though, is that while this thing without the turbo pad is absolute trash at getting speed, watch what happens when you get just one. Holy Jesus Christ, and we have a winner. All right, Luke, all you have to do is land this thing on the wheels and we can defeat the Death Star. <laughs> Seriously, we damn near left the orbit. I think the thing that amazes me is that he legit held on all the way until the end, you know, until his head was ripped from his body and kicks the goal with the soccer ball. Okay, this one is going to make me wish I was dead. So the idea here is you are supposed to be able to rock skip a vehicle across all of these bombs and get past the end. It's like uh, skipping a stone 
except only with a lot more blood and sadism. At the very least, though, I have to see roughly about how far I can get with this thing. What a friggin' mess this is gonna be. Do I get like a boost or anything? I get nothing. I can literally use absolutely nothing. Well, when in doubt. Get it, baby! All right. So far, so good. If I can land this. I mean, I landed it. If the if the bike makes it all the way over, does it count? <laughs> Maybe it's possible that I can actually drive this thing. Hold on. If I can land it, without exploding immediately. I was gonna say, maybe I could get to the end. Hold on, my head's gonna make it. <laughs> Holy shit. My skull, no. Come on, torso. Damn it. On the plus side, five million points. Okay, how about something that can take a ton of damage? Yeah, go ahead, cops. Yeah, give it your best shot. Please don't tip forward. Uh. Well, that was the worst out of the bunch. There has to be a way to do this. This thing has disappointed me the last few times, but I at least have to give it a shot. Full flip! Okay. Okay. That's the furthest we got yet, about halfway. The sad part is I'm not actually going forward at all. I'm just bouncing from landmine to landmine very painfully. Okay, new plan. Here's what we're gonna do. The police are gonna come behind me. Maybe I can get him to go off. There we go. <laughs> Silly bastards. All right. Now, if I can manage to land this thing without immediately exploding. Okay. Hiss. God, the problem is there's police cars facing this way too. So when you land, they come after you. I'm not giving up. Okay. This is good. No, you bastard. I was going to get there. I don't know why, but the wedge has the absolute best flight pattern of any vehicle. Oh. Look at that. Okay. As long as it doesn't hit a police car, I think we'll get there. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. No. Motherfuck. He could go all the way. Yes. Thank you, God. Nick, how you doing, buddy? This is called Traffic Warrior. This is supposed to be one of the absolute most ridiculous Frogger style challenges there is. The point here is to somehow get all the way to the final wall. I mean, I guess we gotta start somewhere. So I'll start with the X-Wing. Now my hope is, is that I can get a vehicle that can barrel through most of this and hopefully just Well, that's nice, we disintegrated in the first second. Alrighty, that's not gonna work. This is actually one of those instances where the ramp itself might be long enough for this thing to get enough speed to be able to go through all the traffic. The fact that it only gets up to 99 kilometers per hour makes me very sad though. Son of a bitch. Okay, we are allowed to have one single ramp it looks like. Let me see how far I can get on it. Oh, Nick, you're shit driving. And we have a liftoff. Okay, you can definitely get to the second one. Okay, go in the middle. I was gonna say go in the friggin' middle. It may be possible to get ricocheted by the cars all the way over to the end that we need to get to. Okay, I've got another plan. The idea here, you know, if we don't go flying off the friggin' ramp here, is to hit these and maybe that'll knock. I was gonna say maybe that would knock those into the into the traffic. Okay, this thing did pretty good last time. We're at like 150 some odd kilometers per hour. So I just want to see about how far it can get. Can't get past this damn second area. Although I guess why would you want to when you can see the carnage that's left behind from just one single vehicle screwing things up for everyone. That is a goddamn car flying over here. Look what happened. The wedge, son. Okay. Still can't get past the second one. All right, here's the plan. If I hold the trunk down like this, it's possible that the wedge will be able to, okay, my leg is breaking, be able to get a little bit more air. Oh Christ. Nicholas Rage just got shaved off the vehicle. I want you to know that. 
I, I actually need to see what the hell happened to him. Okay, see, things were going smashingly right up to this point right here. Right at the point where his balls got shaved off by the concrete of the ramp. Now at that point, uh, while he just did a dab upon the haters, I think he's going to end up landing right in the middle of this very first traffic area. Oh, uh, maybe he'll stop short. Lucky him. You better hang on. You better hang on, Nick. You better hang on, son. <gasps> You're like a beautiful swan. What the hell? Holy sh! What did I do to the game? Oh my god! One of the freaking. Look at it! It's just buried right into the ground! What is this? Besides giving the game a seizure, I also got 7 million points. Okay, this is legitimately the hardest challenge yet. Oh! Damn it! It got ricocheted. It just didn't get through the second part here. Yeet! Come on! Look. Don't ask, okay? I'm trying all my options here. I went with a slightly bigger ramp. Just because it's on that big tilt, it's possible that I can get smashed at just the right angle. I did not. Okay, the shuriken has let me down many, many times. This is the opportunity. It has to redeem itself. I actually don't know how good it is at going down hills. Holy sh- It's really good at going down hills. Hell yes! Oh, aerodynamics be with me! No! We can definitely get there. I just need to get, like, as close to full speed as humanly possible and use the medium ramp like this. And even though I just got horrifying brain damage, I totally believe that we can hit this wall with this. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I need to get as rid of as much weight as possible. So Nick's gonna have to stay behind. Get off, you bastard. Let go. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. Look, don't judge me, okay? Maybe it'll work. One way or the other, he's still on the motorcycle. Okay. See, he got off mid, mid shot. Got it. I just had to keep him on the bike until it was in the air. If you pay close attention, you can actually see the very moment that he curses my name. Not yet. Right about here. Oh, he gave up an arm for the cause too. I am partly curious exactly how far he managed to get. I think this is probably the farthest I have gotten the human participant in this to go. Holy crap, look at how far he got. He almost got to the end himself. And for his troubles. He gets to enjoy instant death. This is called mine skydive. You're actually supposed to try and get down the shaft without hitting any of the mines. How the hell are you supposed to do this? And then of course there's some beloved bowling pins waiting for you at the bottom. There has to be like a certain path that you can take. Okay, damn it. The path is like right around here somewhere it looks like. See that? You can get through there. Damn it. Masochism. Guide me. I think part of the issue here is I need something smaller. Like way smaller. That's small enough. And yeet. Okay. Ah, oh, hell. This is like the highlight of every cubicle worker's life right here. He's still on the chair. Does it count? Okay, now he's, not, he's no longer on the chair now. Okay, I am allowed to manually steer if I want. There is a big open area right here. Yes. 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 <gasps> oh, you son of a bitch. I like how it says full speed. Full speed on a freaking office chair. Oh, this could be the one. Yeah. <laughs> I think the worst part about this is that his pelvis probably ended up piercing his heart and coming out of his mouth. I mean, if we want, we can take a look here. You can see he has that, uh, that very forceful ass posture. It's quite nice. I don't know how the hell one of those bowling pins managed to stand on the other one. Oh. I don't know how he managed to do it, but he head first because he's a dumbass. The chair landed on its wheels for a moment though. These levels 
are getting really, really elaborate. So this is a ski ball challenge and you have to land the car in this ski ball in the middle. <laughs> All right, so I got a booster and I got a ramp and I just wanted to know where the baseline is. And apparently I was way the hell off just because I wanted to see if I can clear it completely. <laughs> okay, let's try and dismount with a lot less effort. <laughs> okay, now we're on the right track. How many points is that? I landed the guy inside of one of them. Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> It's like ripped off. Landed part of the car inside of there. I feel like we need a better pose here. That's the one. I know you can do this. Even though you disappointed your parents, Mickey still loves you. <gasps> is that, is that the one? No, we were one too low. It's like right around here somewhere. Bullseye. <laughs> and I got the high score with it too. <laughs> Just shows you that if you have the desire and a complete disregard for your own well-being. You can do anything. This is called Grace Still Dies. Apparently, it's an impossible challenge. You have to attempt to get through. Mo <laughs> oh my God! Paul Bunyan, what the hell did you build me? I guess it said there was a secret ending. I think I may have found it. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna be able to get through all these cars though because the issue is that there's cars coming directly at me okay i have an idea if we get lucky with the jugger it may shoot just in time to knock off okay nice god they just keep coming i can ramp over part of these i'm allowed three items we know this thing's legit it can get so high maybe it can get over the spawns okay that was that's actually way too high i'm still inside the cockpit Go, Luke! Okay, getting over the spawn may be more difficult than I had previously anticipated. Holy FPS! If I had something faster, maybe I can actually get through the upper pillars. This is it. This is gonna work. I know I can make it! Oh my god, no I can't. Look at how high they go! <laughs> Look at how many points! <laughs> What's left of my body is slowly being crushed under the heel of this bus. Okay, if I use the X-Wing, but I do a smaller ramp, if I can get the guns. Nice, nice. Got it! <laughs> or I think I got it. I don't know if I get past the, I don't know if I got past the, oh Jesus, look at the multiplication. Past the roadway before I came out of the inside of the, the, the vehicle. We just barely made it. This is literally where we get hit. <laughs> and that right there is the point where the vehicle gets destroyed, but we barely cleared the roadway. And it is, it was not easy. I'm just trying to make that happen again. And it is damn near impossible because they do respawn over and over again. So we legitimately got through the last one. Oh folks, we did it. We finally beat all of the impossible challenges. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Turbo Dismount. Till the next time, stay foxy and much love.